Hey, quiet guy. What's that on your shirt? <laughs> gotcha. You're so gullible. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. He does have stuff. What is it that you wanted to show me? Oh, you're not going to show me now? What a sore baby loser baby you are. <laughs> sore baby loser baby. I meant what I said. <laughs> if, <laughs> if I would have known you're such a wuss, I... Show me your spot. Your, your spot. Say less. Take me. Take me there now. Oh, hey. <laughs> well, where are you taking me, stranger? Ratonko, Ratonko. <laughs> you know, if I hadn't already slept elbow to elbow in the same sleeping bag with you, I would think that you're nefariously luring me right now. <laughs> mm. No, chill out, quiet one. I feel really comfortable with you. And for the record, you can't scare me. <laughs> I've been watching horror movies since I was this big. But I would definitely haunt you so good if I were a ghost, though. Do you want to know? <laughs> I would walk around with just pantyhose and your favorite tea on, and I would fart so loud just to annoy you. But only you could hear it. And if you react, then people around you think you're crazy. So you just have to live with it. <laughs> Speaking of, do you like my outfit? Hmm? Oh, thank you. Oh, la la. It's a little bit frillier than at camp, no? I just wear striped t-shirts and baggy black pants for my brother. <sighs> Ooh, good question. I think you're more outgoing than when you were in camp, like just in the real world. I really like it because you actually talk. <laughs> wow. Hey. Why are you blushing? What are you thinking about? No, tell me. Yeah, when we woke up in the tent? Huh? You woke up in the middle of the night. What did, what? <laughs> what did you do? What did you do to me? Oh. Nothing, I yeah. I'm beautiful when I sleep. Oh. <laughs> that sounds really creepy. But I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's why you were blushing. You're like, like outside of camp, you're like a fish in water, as they say. Your body reflects that too. Your shoulders look like they've finally relaxed. Your posture is more confident. That's like your confidence is silent and strong. It looks good on you. What? Oh, you're excited to show me the spot? I can tell. God, you're so cute. Nothing? <laughs> I said nothing. Can't have you getting full of yourself now. <laughs> That's my job. Well, how about me? What have you noticed about me that's different outside of camp? No way am I quieter. No way. <laughs> well, maybe. I don't know. I feel like I talked a big game in camp. <sighs> I'd set my guard up, you know? A bunch of normies in there. Couldn't help but stare at someone like me. Probably thought I'd make human sacrifices at moonrise on every, every eclipse. 
God. Ooh. I don't know why they were staring so much. It honestly made me really uncomfortable. You think I'm cool? <laughs> really, all I really want out of this lifetime is for people to think I'm cool. It's my life purpose. But you know who doesn't think I'm too cool right now? Your mom. No, I mean it, your mom. So, I was avoiding this question, but are your parents mad that we got kicked out of camp for sneaking around? <laughs> Do they know that you're on a date with me right now? Oh, uh, they don't know? Is it because I look like this? Ooh. Strict rents, huh? That's a toughie. No wonder they put you into a boys' girls' separated summer camp. <sighs> because I don't like boys. Most boys, anyway. No, it's not I don't like boys. I like boys, just not most boys. It's just like... Ever since I was a kid, I would get made fun of for looking like this. Boys would ask me if I was a boy or a girl because I wear this like thick metal makeup. The guy's wee laxative eyes, all right. Made me really uncomfortable. Like, what does it matter to you what I have under my skirt? Don't you have a 2 p.m. diarrhea appointment? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I laughed, but it got to me. You know, just leave me alone. And then I met you. <laughs> and I didn't feel so alone. Um, hey, I need to talk to you. It's serious, but don't worry too much about it. <laughs> I'm trying to come off so cool again, yeah. Um, I, I know, I, I know this is gonna be a lot, so maybe we should sit. What? We're here. <gasps> a willow tree. Oh, I didn't even notice. They look so pretty at night. Mm, moonlight. Two lovers in the night. A swing? In the tree? <gasps> How romantic. Let's both get on. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Me first it is. <laughs> okay, God, God, come on. <laughs> Comfy. Good. Can I put my head on your shoulder? <laughs> oh. Yeah, sorry. I got lost in the moment for a bit. <laughs> you just have that effect on me. So, I kind of um, have something. <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking about you a lot. And I know you know that I don't really do relationships. But I, I, I wrote down every single thing that I liked about you. I guess I wanted to make sure that my feelings are real and honest and I want to tell you that you love hearing about my family you love your friends so much you stand up for what you think is right even if people ridicule you for it um, you live your life according to you not what others want you to do you're quiet <laughs> really quiet and you listen more than you speak. You're a good friend to me. 
I'm super cute by it. I, I really like you. And you're exactly what I've been searching for. Gosh, that sounds so dramatic. I know. Thank you for reminding me. Huh? My hands are always this cold. And the tip of my nose. Remember when we woke up in the tent? Yeah. That was sweet. I know that the birds were chirping that morning, but when I looked into your eyes, I could swear I could hear music. A symphony. <laughs> um, like a sassy, jazzy trumpet playing in the background. <laughs> oh yeah, a hand trumpet is one of my greatest musical strengths. <sighs> but hey, it could play me anytime. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> pardon me, pardon me, bring the crass out of me. That's how I know I like you. <laughs> I really do feel comfortable around you. That, that's another thing. I feel like I could tell you any one of my ugly secrets. And you would accept me with open arms. And that's really rare. <sighs> I... I've had so much fun with you. It's kind of a secret. <laughs> the gushy stuff, you know? It's embarrassing for me, but I'm a romantic at heart. Please just know that... I know you were worried if my feelings were true for you. Or if I was just playing with you at camp because I was bored. That's what we've been talking about, right? I just want you to know that everything I've said, I mean. And even though I've known you for pretty short, please just know that you'll always be in my heart. <laughs> what? No? It kind of does sound like a goodbye. Oh, you got so worried. <laughs> what? Do you like me or something? <laughs> Listen, this is just a long way. I, I wrote this down because I was worried that I'd be too anxious to tell you in person, but I'm just saying that I want to hold your hand. I want to take you on dates. I want people to see us together. Together. I don't want to keep sneaking around with you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What do I want? I want to be your girlfriend. That's what I want. Forgive me for being so... Um, what do you say in English? Blunt? Frank. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. But have you, have you ever been in a relationship before? No? Why not? Hmm. <laughs> you don't talk much, do you? <laughs> of course, what the heck? I want to hear your thoughts. Like, if that means I should talk less to leave room, a little more space for you to talk and feel welcome to, then... That makes me happy to do that for you. Hey, do people not normally give you space to hear your thoughts? Hmm. Let's just say I'm a little different than most people. <laughs> if you can tell by the things. Mm. 
I, earlier, when you touched my hand, that was really nice. It's like there's something missing in my hand. And it's your hand that I need. Thank you. So smooth, I know. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I look beautiful. I was going for a dreadful, scary, undead, but beautiful. That would do too, <laughs> I guess. And you are gorgeous, beautiful, cute too, handsome. You are all the words to me. I could see it in your eyes. <laughs> What's on your mind? Oh, quiet one. <sighs> what do you mean you're surprised? Look at this list. Is this not you? Or am I projecting here? And you are this wonderful person. <laughs> Let me know now so I can giddy up on out of here. Yeah. No, you are. You are all these beautiful things I just said about you. That's why I like you. Is me being your girlfriend, is that something you want to? <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, thank you for taking me here. It really is a nice spot. The pond, and the moon, and the willow tree, and the swing, and you and me, all together. Do you want to kiss me? And you should. Hey, your parents hate me, don't they? <laughs> That's kind of hot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> your parents are gonna be so mad. <laughs> don't tell them I kissed you and became your girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just wait, just wait. They're gonna love me, I already know. Yeah, your mom likes to garden, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll think of something. In the meantime, let's just sit in this for a little bit. I really am enjoying the view. The pond, not you. <laughs> Aren't you full of it? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. There isn't any other view I would rather than this one. You. <laughs> God, you make me feel things. <sighs> yeah. I like how the water glistens in the moonlight. I like the little air bubbles the fish are coming up to eat the mosquitoes. <laughs> it looks really magical. I do come here often to get away from home. No, just a guess. That's what I would do if I were you, knowing how strict your parents are. Thank you for bringing me here. I love nature spots like this. Hmm. 
Mm. Maybe this could be our spot. <laughs> yeah. I'd like that.